In the recently concluded elections, the National Resistance Movement performed poorly and lost key positions in Uluru District. All the first lots for the members of parliament went to the National Unity Platform and President Museveni squad 27% of the total votes cast. <laughs> Rose Namayanja, the Deputy Secretary General for the NRM Party, attributes this loss to an information gap that denied public knowledge of government programs being implemented in the area. There is an information gap which we are trying to cover up right now. Yes, we may know what we are doing as a government, but the councillor at the parish level may not know exactly what is being done. If we bring money for parish development model, we want even the beneficiaries to understand the criteria, to understand how much money is being brought. Make sure that we communicate to the community and the public understands to know what government has done. Namaya Anja, together with other leaders in Luero, have launched a campaign to monitor government programs and take the gospel of NRM to the grassroots. We hope that this will play a major role in ensuring that uh, Ugandans get to know what the party is doing. And we have been doing so many programs, but did not come out to tell the people what we are doing. And if the ruling party has uh, a, a manifesto, we have to make sure that we make a follow-up on what was done, what is remaining, so that the, it can be implemented. The beginning point is monitoring the rural electrification program, which is aimed at extending electricity from the national grid to local communities currently unable to access clean energy in an order to spur improved economic and social development in a sustainable way. We are getting three-phase 55 transformers on this line alone. And then secondly, we expect 3,857 homesteads to have power, out of which over 1,600 have already wired their homes. And what is remaining is commissioning this project, and then people have power. They believe this program will go a long way in hastening job creation, especially among the youth. When there is power, you can engage in a number of activities that would not be there if power was, wasn't available. We shall have maize mills, we shall have saloons coming up, we shall have welding machines. And I encourage my fellow youths to be innovative and create jobs out of this electricity that has come up to the ground levels. Herbert Kamaga, NTV. Il est pas la même qui a fait des